Hello everyone, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. I'm your host, Shade Orion, and well, we got super drunk last night and puked everywhere. And I guess it's time to go and assess the damage. May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. Hey hon, you look like crap. Yep. Rough night. Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it... I saw Cole at the party in the woods. Senior year? Yeah, he was from home. No, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Kind of, sort of, I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hon. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway, looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of the town center. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps and the power lines. Great. Hon, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. No one is gonna go to jail for running around on power lines. Psh, they'll never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Mom, I sure don't. I've, de I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. So, what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna see what Greg and Bay are up to. You all gonna do some together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many days and so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each only have so much... And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Thought. Become a fire ghost and yell at people. F the cops. Alright, does that mean that I can go to the right now? It sure doesn't, but I know where it does mean that I can go. I'm gonna assume that Bay is gonna be all pissed off at me because, well, last night was embarrassing. Or I should say last episode. Hey May. Hey Selmas. Did I see you with a journal the other night? Oh yeah, Doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one too. Oh, okay, did you have anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh jeez. So, Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do though. And I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Yeah. My heart is a dankness. But when you see, when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow. That's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. That's very romantic. It's all about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. Ta-da! It's Selma's a poem. Indeed. It's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. 
Nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Nope. Oh, she's around somewhere. Might be outside. She likes to go on walks. Cool, cool. I might bump into her. While I'm wandering around. Okay, I'm not allowed to go very far. I need to have more angry fucking moments where I smash it with a stick again, because that was a whole lot of fun. best with what oh fuck <laughs> and we got blankets ha 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 one way to do it. I gotta change your clothes in the car, in case you puke on your regular clothes. No, I just want to look good for the interview. Good idea. I mean, it's Ham Panther. It ain't an art gallery in Paris, but I figure any leg up is good. I'm excited. So am I. I need to drink all this coffee, so I got something to puke in 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright. This might be a bad idea. Hey bae. Yo. Sorry about last night. I get woozy on cold medicine, so I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. You know, I don't really remember it much, so whatevs. Hurry for alcohol. Newtown motto. You're alright, bae. So how's it going, dude? I got a job here, that's cool. Oh nice. Actually, I'm lying, it sucks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on, man, at least you're not fucking doing construction work and shit. Hey! Whoa, hey! We got, like, the same shirt. But, like, opposites. Oh, wow, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, is it, like, a band or something? No, I made it in home ec back in high school. I just like the symbol. It's a null symbol, right? I don't know. What's your shot mean? Secret symbol of God's wrestling league. Whoa, what's that? Backyard wrestling? Whoa! Where does it happen? All over the place. Backyards, you know? How did I not know about this? It's secret because illegal, I think. And people go to the hospital and stuff. That is awesome. This is awesome. It's awesome. Holy crap, I'm gonna look this up. See you there sometime.
Hey, May. Hey, Angus, how's it going? May, you are like the third person I've seen today. I know you've explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. You'd be surprised. Band practice later? Gotta warm up my voice. You growl real good. Thanks, I'm a born growler. When I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. <laughs> what a champ. I think I cried non-stop till I was like nine. And then I cried all the time again until I... Again, starting at like 13. You had a good three years of not crying in the... A really productive years. <laughs> I like Angus. He is a good... What the? What? No! No, 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 no! Past abilities is gone. No more pizza delivery. No more big sell. No more special birthdays. This is the worst thing that's happened to this town. Since the flood took out... The mini golf ice cream place. Summer nights. Eating ice cream. Playing some putt putt. <laughs> All washed away. I'm so freaking depressed right now. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy Wharton? No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. Oh, that's stuck, huh? Yep. That's okay. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. How about them smelters? Kicked some blue bear ass last night. Good game, good game. Gonna be a hell of a season, bud. Off to the snack falcon, I guess. Well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? Was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town and I don't know, that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. So what's up? We're gonna head out to band practice? I guess so. Fuck. Practice? Yes. I crashed my bike once, and a broken spoke went through my leg. Jeez. It was kinda cool. Yeah, I can see that. So, uh, when are we starting? Ask Greg. He's usually what's holding us up, or making us go faster. All-purpose Greg. Unto every time, a Greg. Alright, kids. I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, are we doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I don't know the song. Like, at all. And I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song. You stupid jerks. <laughs>
that was uh, pretty bad, is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Fail. So you want to do something tonight? Um, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? Um, hmm, want to go to the mall? The mall? Yeah, Fort Lucene. Like when we were kids. When's the last time you were at Fort Lucene Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah, uh, what? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Great! Yep, great. I promise it'll be great. Okay, we sure we're doing this? Let me check with Greg real quick. Okie dokie. Hey, hey, Duda. Angus leaving for the night? Yeah, gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be if I didn't have plans. Plans. Crimes. Ooh, crimes. You up for some crimes? Hmm. I might be hanging out with Bay. Let me check first. Cool, let me know. Yeah, I'll hang out with Bay. I need to make up for last night. Great. Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I just never drink again. Or maybe you just take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. I could see that. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging with you is working pretty well tonight. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum! I'm gonna turn down, turn on the radio now. Old gods of the Fort Lacine Mall. Fort Lacine! Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet? We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm gonna make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're done asking. What happened to the internet? <laughs> And yet, Dollar Empire is still here. I think this is one thing the internet can't compete with. I used to go in here when I was a kid. You could get an eraser for a dollar, a pencil for a dollar. That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, the U-Rev is still here. <laughs> yeah, this old thing. I can feel the edginess from here. Just looking in there makes me feel old. We are so gonna do this. There is no way I'm going in there. We're going in there, babe. Come on. Oh, for God's sakes. God's sake. Oh. Lee. Crap. I'm 14 again. Yep, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that... Shut up. Hey, ladies. Hello, lady. Just so you know, we have a 20% off select t-shirts. Ooh, t-shirts. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. Alright. <laughs> nice. Dead Party Boy stickers in 2017. I think they're back in. Hmm, that's cool. I bet you listen to them. Um, yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're 30 years old and sad. I'm getting that. Hmm. Wow, I haven't seen belt buckles in a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop had one with a rattlesnake driving a semi-truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Cover me. I'm gonna grab one. What? No! Shh! You are not doing this! So are you really gonna do this? Shh, be cool! This isn't my first time doing crimes. What other crimes have you done? Shoplifting, vandalism, piracy, shoplifting again now! Anyway, I just do e the easy crimes. How is this stupid idea easy? Our eyes have evolved to notice movement. 
like dinosaurs. If the dinosaur is moving, wait, that's not, never mind. As long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching, like you're gonna freeze when she looks over, even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket. And this is gonna work because dinosaurs, just like dinosaurs, I'm gonna pretend to not know you until you're done, okay? Sweet. We did a crime. Okay, you done? Oh yeah. Shut up and let's get out of here. Oh yeah, sweet belt buckle I am never ever going to wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, me. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess. Hasn't everyone? Well, get back in there, champ. What? No! Beatrice, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there is not one mall cop here as far as I can tell. I don't know, I mean, hmm. Bay, this is an experience. Have it. It'll r I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clock. I can do this. Okay, I will admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. I'm great at crimes. But what if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go. <laughs> okay, but I'm... But if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. Hey! Uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts, 20% off. Yeah, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of this store. Yeah? Haha, <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. Try me. Is it like... Is it like your revelation or your revolution? You know, no one ever asks this, but I think about it all the time. I bet. God. You know what the official name of our business checks is? Your revolution, radical... Ugh. Culture Uprising Inc. That's really dumb. God, I know. I like... Like, guys can't see just be a store that sells cool shit to teens. Yeah, teens go nuts for this shit. The employee discount is also pretty great. I had a job once. I had a 100% discount. Uh-huh. When I stole shit. No, I got what you meant the first time. I bet you grab things all the time. Well, they're big into prosecuting to the fullest extent of the law here, so... I'm done looking. Okay, it was nice talking to you. Bye now. Uh, see ya. Why did I do that? You did so well, Bay. <laughs> I call the cops on shoplifters at my own store. This? Haven't you even shoplift shoplifted before? No, never! Okay, now you're making me feel weird about it. Sorry? Forget it. We're home free. Really? Yeah. We're like, out in open waters now. I feel kinda sick. So let's walk it off. In not the direction of the place that we just stole from. Well, I completely forgot about this giant bichette. Oh my god, I loved her. Did you ever come to the summer days thing here? Yeah, it would like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. One time I saw it knock a guy down. Yeah, every year that would happen, and someone would make a fuss. Like, I don't know. You showed up to be squirted by a fish fountain. You know, the walk way, way up there. Past the upper food court thing, up in the atrium. The what? The ceiling, the glass part that points up. Yeah? When I was a kid, I thought that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know, I just remember staring at it when I was a kid. 
like eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God, like peeking over or something. Looks like they've got some weird thing, weird hanging art up there now. Wanna go up and see? Nah, no, my knees are killing me from work. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here before we get busted. You up for eating? Fuck yeah, let's eat. I expected more excitement. More food is caught diet. Uh, what? Oh, what a feeling. See? That wasn't hard. What did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Pierre Gory Burger from Smelter Burger. Oh, that's just a big pile of carbs and meat, huh? Isn't that what we are? Bones, too. I don't want bones in my burger. What? Remember when Kathy Domenko pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with, uh, what's his name? Football guy? Ron Boonstra? I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands. My first touchdowns for my first, my beautiful firstborn, firstborn, and his mummy, Kathy Domingo. That's something. Kathy was in the marching band, and I think, and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh yeah, see, that's the part I know about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. Well, last year Ron had an ATV accident, and somehow Kathy and him got to talking after that, and they got married. Huh? Yeah, Ron's parents set them up in, out in a double wide in Bridal. I guess Bridal's place. Since Kathy refused to end up in Possum Springs, Bridal's like 15 minutes away. You know what the worst part of this story is? Cindy having something ripped out of her face. At the time, I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain and the God walkway and stuff, not knowing how something worked, used to seem like magic. Now not knowing means it might be going wrong and I might not be able to fix it. Helped knowing someone was at the at the controls, you know. Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school, yeah. Ah, uh, I didn't even want to talk about it. What happened anyway? You want to run around the, mo the mall some more? Ah, uh, there's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You run. I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. Suit yourself. Space for the Rocks of Cosmic, an installation by Rawford Gims, sponsored by Dollar Empire. Caution, do not stand on the art. You have issued me a challenge. Oh wow, is this... <laughs> Fantastic! Whoa, hey! Ha 
Ah, <laughs> stop, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh, that guy got fucked up. Okay, someone's gonna call the cops. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to get that penguin so fucking bad. Beatrice Santeller. <laughs> Don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones. Oh wow, is that you, God? Yes, it is I, God Stevenson. <laughs> I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal. Through my fish monster, I have lain waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence, I shan't say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. Ha ha ha, yeah, we should probably get out of here. Before you get arrested. Ha 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 ha. The cops shall be confused and stuff, and beat each other up, for I am God and I hate the cops. Okay, okay, get down here. I ha have a good one, mortal. <laughs> that was awesome. If it's not sticking it to the man, the man isn't going to lose anything here, but she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in the much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever, return the shit. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hi. Hello. You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here is that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like it is. What? You stole this? You're just a cog in the bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing inside the whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? <laughs> this place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. Nah, it's just a big, mostly empty thing. In a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lucene used to be a something. Now Fort Lucene's over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I want to drive on the way home. Nope. <laughs> Sup, Dad? Heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow. Hold on. Let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. Bandit Queens of Fort Lucene Mall, all hail. That was awesome. <laughs> but it's time to finish the episode, I think. Bedtime, yes. Same, May, same. Alrighty guys, if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode of Night in the Woods. Thanks for watching.